But if you're here at a hackathon and you're gonna spend two days on building something anyway, why not build something really, really cool that's truly decentralized and can actually pay people in a useful way? I mean, that's just cool. I mean, that's exciting. I'm excited. This excites, and this excites me, this, this, it does. Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name's Austin. In today's video, I wanna share with you the biggest things happening right now in this crypto market. Top altcoins making news that you should know. If you're interested in making money with cryptocurrency, click subscribe. We drop a video every single day demystifying this cryptocurrency market. Let's jump in. First piece of news involves SHIB. SHIB has jumped another 16% after its Binance listing as well as its Times Square advertisement. What you're about to see is a gigantic digital billboard that says, we will reach the moon soon, as well as a cartoon Shiba Inu dog dressed in a Wall Street shirt and tie. This is what the masses are seeing. Watch this. Wow. Give me your thoughts down below in the video comment section. The SHIB army going hard, taking profits, buying advertising. Also, in an interesting twist of events, crypto exchange Binance today announced it will open trading for the SHIB Doge pair, enabling traders to make direct bets on either of the competing coins. So SHIB versus Doge trading now available. And to top this all off, possibly the biggest piece of SHIB news, Rumors started to circulate that Tesla could be adding SHIB as a payment option. This is what Sawyer Merritt, a well-known Twitter personality with a large following, pointed to in one of his latest tweets. So this guy checked the Tesla website code. So it appears the Tesla website source code shows Shiba, aka SHIB, under the payment type section in the code when clicking inspect element during checkout. It's not live, however, since I'm not a coder or anything, I'll let y'all figure out what the heck this means. So as of yesterday, we clearly see a Shiba payment option in the code, not live yet. And this was backed up by actual developers. I'm a coder, and from what I can see, it does seem like SHIB is going to be part of the payment gateway when you choose crypto on the checkout process. So this is a super interesting leak. SHIB owners, SHIB army, would you spend your SHIB on a Tesla? Let me know down below. And next up, big piece of news involving Ethereum. Ethereum sees first consecutive week of deflationary issuance. More than $65 million worth of Ethereum is currently being burned daily by the Ethereum network. So as you know, after EIP 1559, which has already happened, with every single ETH transaction, some Ethereum gets burned and ETH gets burned every day. But that does not mean that every day is deflationary, let alone every week. But this last week was, and the reason why is because the network continues to get more popular. And just think about this. Nike has just filed a patent to join the ETH network slash metaverse on Ethereum. Virtual Nike shoes incoming big companies jumping onto this metaverse rocket. So here's how we know. Nike is headed to the metaverse. On October 27th, the company filed a new trademark application for Nike, Just Do It, and the swoosh logo. The filing indicates an intent to make and sell Nike branded virtual shoes and clothing. So they are getting their ducks in a row. Just Do It, this literally just got filed. Here is the date right here. And they're saying they could potentially offer downloadable virtual goods, namely computer programs featuring footwear, clothing, headwear, eyewear, bags, sports bags, etc. But Nike is entering this Ethereum metaverse potentially in a big, big way. Next piece of quick news for Cardano. The next upgrade is coming. Cardano prepares to scale with Hydra upgrade as the network reaches 2 million wallets. So this is obviously a huge milestone, 2 million wallets. It was just announced in a tweet posted by the Cardano Foundation on Monday. The number of Cardano wallets has surpassed the 2 million mark, 
the network reached the previous milestone of 1 million ADA wallets just this year on May 22nd, 2021. So the stepping stones of mass adoption clearly. And if you're asking why, why are all these people onboarding on the Cardano network? Well, we know during this period, number one, the Cardano Foundation successfully implemented the Alonzo hard fork, enabling smart contracts on the network. So we know that dApps can be built, that's number one. And number two, as Charles Hoskinson continues his tour of Africa, via a tweet posted last week, Hoskinson claimed that 5 million students in Ethiopia are on schedule to receive digital IDs linked to their academic records that are based on the Cardano blockchain. So those things have happened. We've seen the growth. What's happening next? That's layer two scaling. When asked about the progress regarding Cardano's layer two scaling solution Hydra during an AMA session on Saturday, Hoskinson said this. We are gonna keep adding resources to Hydra and we've been trying to identify some teams that can help parallelize the work stream because it's such a high commercial priority. And it's gonna be very important that we'll be able to offload a large number of the transaction traffic that's going to come from all the apps that are coming. So while no date has been set yet, he does say it's a priority because of the dApps, because of the network traffic. They're working on it. I'll keep you updated. Next up, let's talk about the metaverse. The Sandbox has just raised over $93 million to expand its NFT metaverse. Here are the details. The metaverse continues to be the next attraction point of crypto for investors, with the Sandbox, an Animoca brand's subsidiary and non-fungible token metaverse platform, raising fresh capital in a funding round led by SoftBank Vision Fund 2. And what was most interesting to me were some of the names that chose to invest. Polygon Studios, Samsung Next, Animoca Brands, among others, which is a very, very interesting sign. Which brings me to my next question. How do they plan to use the investment, the money? According to the announcement, the Sandbox aims to speed up the growth of its open metaverse with games, live performances, and social experiences while supporting more creators and involving more brands and IP intellectual properties. Either way, Sandbox making moves, pretty cool to see. I'll keep you updated. Next up, lower cap altcoin news for Injective Protocol. The IBC bridge is officially live on Injective, meaning that now assets from the Cosmos ecosystem can seamlessly be transferred over to the Injective chain for derivatives trading and new DeFi applications. So IBC live on Injective means it's fully interoperable with the Cosmos ecosystem. Here are the details. This was Injective governance proposal number 60. And if you are an Adam hodler, a Cosmos hodler, what does this now mean for you? Ultimately, the IBC upgrade brings Injective to new heights, allowing anyone to create IBC enabled markets Notably, users for the first time ever can create entirely decentralized Atom perpetual markets. So decentralized derivatives trading, now with the Cosmos ecosystem, cool to see the progress. Next piece of news for Bitcoin, El Salvador plans to use its BTC profits to build the first 20 Bitcoin schools. So they are using the freedom that comes along with Bitcoin as well as the profits right now coming from Bitcoin to invest back into their infrastructure, back into their country and build schools. We know this from a recent tweet coming from the press secretary of the presidency who outlined El Salvador's future plans. According to a local report, the construction of the 20 new facilities comes to support the cryptocurrency education for locals and joins the 400 schools of the My New School program. So Bitcoin education will definitely be taught. Good to see, I like to see it. And that is the video. My name's Austin. Like always, see you tomorrow. And by the way, this was a random excerpt taken from the depths of the bear market in February, 2020 from Sergey Nazarov, exciting the developer community of Chainlink. See you tomorrow. But if you're here at a hackathon and you're gonna spend two days on building something anyway, why not build something really, really cool that's truly decentralized and can actually pay people in a useful way? 
I mean, that's just cool. I mean, that's exciting. I'm excited. This exci- I, and this excites me. This, this, it does. This is more exciting than I made a token, I sent a token. I mean, it is. I mean, why not give it a shot? I would.